Here is a Samsung Galaxy A13 smartphone. I'm going to show you how to transfer your photos and videos directly from the phone to your Windows computer, laptop, or PC via charging cable. So the first thing I want to note is the charging cable that comes with your A13 is a USB-C to a USB-C. Okay, so hopefully you have a USB-C or a Thunderbolt port on your uh, Windows computer or PC or laptop. Okay, I do have a USB-C right there. However, some of you guys don't have a USB-C port or a Thunderbolt port. So your other option could be this right here, a USB-A to USB-C that I got from one of my other phones. Or you can even do this. You can have one of these like little adapters here. It's a USB-C to USB-A so we can connect one in to here. These are super inexpensive and I'll have these in the description below where you can get these, okay? All right, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and just use the USB-A here cable. I'm going to plug into my USB port. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab my A13 here. We're going to go ahead and plug this in. Now we have to go ahead and sign in. Make sure you're signed into your phone. And I'll sign in. And then we should get a message that uh, pops up here saying, well, do you I trust this computer or whatnot? But I didn't have one. Uh, no message popped up here. But let's see if it still works, okay? So it's everything's plugged in. So what we want to do is we want to go down to this file explorer, this little folder here. See that right where my mouse is? If yours is not here, just go into search and type in file explorer. But we're going to open up file explorer. And then from here, let's see if it found it. So on the left pane here, I'm just going to go to my PC. So we'll go to my PC and let's see if we can find that phone. Yeah, there it is. Galaxy A13. So I'm going to double click on that right there. I'm going to double click on phone. And then you can see a bunch of uh, folders in here, okay? So all the photos and videos that I've taken goes into my DCIM folder. So let me click on DCIM. Then I'm going to click on camera. And now I only have not that many photos or videos on here. You can see that I have uh, some photos here. You can tell that they're photos. It has a uh, J it says JPG file or it's a movie file that has like seconds or minutes like this one down here. Okay, so now from here, we can save it directly to our computer, okay? Uh, for instance, we can drag and drop these onto our desktop. I can drag and drop this photo right there. And voila, there it is. Now what I typically do is I'll go to the desktop right here. I'll right click on my trackpad. I will go down to new and go to folder. And I'm gonna create me a folder here and I'll call this one, I'll just call it A13. And you can see I just created it right here. And then what I typically do is I'll just select whichever one I want. In this case, I'm going to highlight the whole shebang. I'm going to drag and drop into that new folder I call it A13. Let it go ahead and copy there. Okay, looks like it's done. I'm going to go ahead and unplug my phone now, and all my photos and videos should be in this folder right here, which is now on my computer. And I'll play one of these video files. Anyway, do you guys go. Any questions or issues, just uh, comment below. All right, good luck.